Hey everybody, so I got a new microscope and uh, this one you connect to your computer. So it does say that it will work on Windows, Mac, and also Android. 250 magnification and two megapixels. It says that it can work as a simple webcam and it could also record video. All right, so inside we do have our little microscope, which comes with a fairly decent length of USB cable. Now, my complaint with this one is gonna be that it is a USB-A, so we're already going to need a dongle or some kind of an adapter to be able to use this with the Mac or with a phone. And that's not included. You also get your little stand here for your camera. And it looks like a lot of the controls are right here. So we got our focus. We do have our brightness and dimmer here. It looks like you can snap photos up here as well. Uh, down at the bottom, it looks like we have some LEDs that will light it up. That does show that there's some drivers and some software that you can get online, uh, but the manual doesn't show anything about mobile or getting it to work. So I'm gonna play with it, see if I figure that out, and then we'll come back and I'll show it to you. All right, so I played with it a little bit and I tried to get some information. As for Android support, it will work for some Androids. It's case by case, they said. You do have to have a dongle for it. And uh, they do recommend a couple different apps, camera apps that will work for it. Now, I'm not gonna mess around with the Android, but you can. The iPhone, I couldn't find anything for the iPhone. I thought it would work, but it does work for the Mac and it does work for Windows. You do have to install the software and the drivers for it. Okay, so I got the software installed on the Mac. Um, that's what I'm gonna be using. And I'll use OBS to do a screen capture. But let me go ahead and start the screen capture here. And then what I'll do is I will show you the software and I'll show you how the, that one works. All right, so inside the software, you may have to set it up to the camera. And on mine, it was picking up my phone, the MacBook, and another camera that I have connected. So as you can see, it's gonna show the microscope, the camera, the phone. Uh, just make sure you're selected on the microscope resolution. It goes from 320 by 240 all the way up to 1600 by 1200. It looks like it actually won't work that way. All right, so 640 by 480 is gonna be the highest resolution you can do for this one. You do have some time shot set up. You could do some stuff with that. I'm not gonna mess with that. There's also a folder setting where you could choose where you want it to be saved. All right, so what I need to do is, all right, so it is on, it is seeing something there. All right, there we go. So now this one is a 250 times, so it's not gonna be super microscopic, but that's still a pretty good, but that's still a pretty good close up there. You can even see the little fine hairs on the plant. And uh, we could get a little bit closer. You know, I am about three inches off of the plant here. So let's bring it down some. There we go. So if I bring the camera in a little bit closer, uh, you can actually see the little hairs on the plant. That's how close we can get it. And I could probably push it down just a little bit closer, but that's still pretty darn good. And I don't think we'll get too much more than that. Uh, let me go ahead and throw something else on here. So I threw a different leaf down there, different colors and everything, give you an idea there. All right, and then for those out there that would like to use this for something like coins, you could definitely do that. And like I mentioned, you could adjust the light. So if you need less light or more light, you could easily turn the dial for that. Anyway, I think it's pretty neat. This is the pluggable microscope. I think it works pretty well though, and this is fun. And it's also great for kids that want to learn and you know get into some of this kind of stuff. And I wish I had this stuff when I was a kid. But anyway, if you are looking for a microscope that you can easily connect to a computer and easily record and take pictures and stuff, I would say that this is a pretty darn good option. Anyway, if you are interested in one of these, I'll put a link down below. They're not too expensive. This one I think was $39, and sometimes I see them go on sale as well. Anyway, this was the Pluggable Microscope, and thank you for watching.